All right, y'all, welcome back to another Dasher Cam DoorDash adventure video in my Tesla. We're up here in Portland today, and I figured that I would bring you guys along for the ride. Today is Sunday, January 7th, 2024. Um, it's pretty nice day out, honestly. 46 degrees Fahrenheit, feels really, really good out there. Um, slightly overcast, not really rainy just yet, but I'm sure that it will be rainy soon enough. I figured, you know, I was up here to see the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck is in Portland at this time at the McAdam Tesla Center. So came up here for the Tesla Owners Oregon meetup and saw some of my friends. So, hey guys, if you're watching, I appreciate it. It was great to see you all there. Um, really nice to see the Cybertruck again. Um, if you guys haven't already seen it, I made a Cybertruck video whenever I went and saw the Cybertruck on display in Bellevue. So go ahead and check out that video. It is linked above and probably in the description. Today, I figured, you know what, since we're up in Portland, I might as well do a little bit of dashing. So we're gonna go ahead and get into some dashing. Um, it is busy right now in the Portland area, but there isn't any promos going on, which really kind of stinks. Um, and the earn by time is only $15.75 per hour. And I, I don't think that that's gonna be what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna try earn by order and we're gonna hopefully go for about $100 and see how long it takes us to get to that $100 mark. Make sure that this Nissan Versa does not back into me, buddy. Thank you. And, you know, we'll see how long it takes us. Hopefully it doesn't take us too awfully long. Um, I did see that in Southeast Portland, which is just to the east of where I'm at here in this specific um, spot, that there is a promo from 330 to 530, I think, something to that effect. So we'll, we'll get up there and do... We'll do some dashing at some point, get some promo dashing in, but it's it's seeming like for at least the next hour to two hours, we're not gonna be able to get any promo. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna hit the old dash now, and we'll say that we're gonna go until like 3.30. Like I said, I think that there is a promo starting at, uh, around 3.30 in Southeast Portland, which is just across the river over here on this side. We're pointed the wrong way. North up, Southeast Portland is somewhere over in this area, according to the map. All right, I will check back in with you guys whenever we get uh, our first order and let you know how it goes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoy. All right, friends. So we got that first order picked up. And right after, actually, I don't even think I told you guys, I got an order, $6 or so for a mile, two miles, I don't know. So we went ahead and accepted that order and then we immediately got another order that was an extra $5 for like an extra three miles or something. And I didn't really want to take it because it's taking me outside of the zone, but I figured, hey, it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to keep my acceptance rate up at this point and you know we're going from there so we went ahead and picked up from two different places and it says that it'll be around eleven dollars for both drop-offs now i totally had to illegally park in a loading zone and i was the first one in this loading zone whenever i got there and by the time that i got back to my car because I, I was able to pick up both orders on foot after I got out of the car, like, you know, and, and parked it at this spot. And whenever I got back to this loading zone, two other cars were behind me and had their flashers on. So I didn't feel so bad that, you know, I was in this 30 minute loading zone. And it said that you needed to have commercial logos. And I just went ahead and left the hat on the dashboard. You know, I really don't think that they care. I think that they would probably ticket me one way or another, but I was in and out of both places within like five minutes, ran, I don't know, two or three, maybe four blocks, 
I'm, I'm not really entirely sure, but I was able to make my way to where I needed to go. So we are crossing over the, the bridge now. I, I want to say that this is the Willamette River. Um, and we are headed over to the first customer's uh, drop-off location. And it looks like we'll be there in about two minutes. So I'll go ahead and get this one dropped off. And then we'll head to the other customer's location, which is north of where we're going to be dropping this one off. We're kind of in the southeast Portland area with this drop off. And the next one will be more in the, the northeast corner of Portland. So that way. Um, like I said earlier, really nice day out. I'm actually kind of happy to be driving around in Portland whenever it's not dark and not raining. And I can show you guys the beautiful views that are out here, you know? So, all right, I will uh, I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next clip and let you know if there are any additional, you know, tips or anything along those lines. So stay tuned and I'll see you in a future clip. All right, friends, we got both of those orders dropped off and there was a hidden tip in the first order. So thank you very much to Dixie. They ordered pot belly something or another. Um, that order was $7 total. And then this other order was $5 and 50 cents. Um, kind of far for $5 and 50 cents and factoring in that I had to you know, find a parking spot in Portland proper to, to get that. I don't know if $5.50 was really worth that last order, but regardless, we are on our way back to a zone. Um, I noticed that the map put me right at the edge of the zone. So we are still in the Portland zone after having dropped off that first order. So everything is looking pretty good. We're headed toward another zone here in this, you know, eastern Portland area. I guess that I'm not supposed to turn right here. Huh. All right, no worries. We'll, we'll go ahead and go left then. Doesn't really matter. We're just driving around anyways. So yeah, thank you to both of those customers for tipping much better than no tip at all. And oh yeah, I saw an e-golf just a few moments ago driving down the road. That was pretty cool. Um, you know, I, I love being out here in Oregon and seeing all of the EVs. I really feel like there is a pretty good number of EVs out here just generally. There, there seems to be a higher rate of adoption in my area. Um, we're actually about to be passed by a uh, Kona EV. I believe it's a Kona. Nero, excuse me, a Nero EV. So that was pretty cool. You know, it's just like we just passed an Ionic 5 back there. Um, saw a cool Model Y with like a wrap and stuff just a, a little bit ago. And it had a yellow plate. I haven't seen that yellow plate before. I wonder if that's like a commercial yellow plate. So, you know, it's just, it's nice to be around like-minded people that have EVs and, you know, like to, like to drive electric cars. I think that, you know, it, it's, it's a nice spot to be. And I enjoy being around the like-minded people that have the EVs, you know, as well. So, all right. We're going to drive around here for a little while and see if we can pick up an order in this area. If not, then I'll head back to Portland proper downtown area and, you know, we'll see if we can get any better orders. Uh, fingers crossed, you know, we can, we can make some real money out here. We started a little bit after one, I believe. So, you know, as long as we can keep the momentum up, hopefully we can maintain $20 an hour. Uh, but it's not looking great right now. We're just kind of in the middle of the map. And by in the middle, I mean at the northeast side of the map. I'll go ahead and get a couple of quick screenshots for you. But um, it's not busy in this area, which really, really blows because it's Oregon's biggest city. Like, 
Portland should be really popping off with the DoorDash delivery orders. It's Sunday, you know, and I don't really understand why it's not busy out here. So, anyways, I am top dasher, worth mentioning. Um, you know, I'm maintaining all the stats to be top dasher, all that stuff. So, it's all in my favor. I have the high acceptance rate. I have all of the proper ratings that I would need to be able to get good orders. So we're just kind of waiting on the market to turn around and tell us that, you know, there, there are some orders. And unfortunately, it just really doesn't look like there are any. So, all right. Well, I will, uh, I'll catch you guys in the near future whenever I get another order and let you know what is happening. I am going to make an executive decision that Portland is not going to be where we're going to dash for the rest of the adventure. Um, I just got an order $9.75 for like 10 miles or something ridiculous, or an offer rather, for that. And I went ahead and declined it because it just, it's not a good offer. You know, I don't want to be hanging out in downtown trying to find a parking spot to then have to drive 20 minutes away and only get paid, you know, less than $10. So we're going to go ahead and make the executive decision to head over to Beaverton and see if we can find some decent offers in Beaverton. Oftentimes Beaverton is pretty, you know, they're, they're pretty nice over in Beaverton from the, I've, I've dashed over here a handful of times and I've really enjoyed it. So we're going to head over to Beaverton now. Um, I would love to tell you what road I am on, but I really have no idea. I just know that we're headed to Beaverton um, and that we will be there in probably, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I have to go through this little tunnel, which is really kind of a cool thing. It's like a tunnel through this little mountain. And then you pop out on the other side, and you're you're pretty much in Beaverton, um, maybe five miles away or so. But it's just it. This is a cool little drive. The Oregon Zoo is somewhere over in this area. Yep, we're about to pass the sign for it. Oregon Zoo and Forestry Center. And it's you know it's just a really really nice place to drive around at night. Not so much, but you know during the day. It's not bad. It really isn't bad. Um, I would love to go check out the Oregon Zoo at some point in the near future, but I, I haven't gotten a chance to go check it out. So if you guys have been to the Oregon Zoo, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what was your, you know, what was your favorite thing about the Oregon Zoo? Because I'm thinking about trying to make a trip up here and going to check it out one of these weekends in the near future as, you know, just one of those things to do that I haven't quite done yet. I also need to get up here and check out the Japanese gardens. I know that Portland has some of the, like, most sought after, at least so I hear. I could be wrong, but Portland has some pretty renowned Japanese gardens. So if you guys have been to either of those, the zoo or the Japanese gardens, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Um, let me know if I should go or if it's maybe a waste of time, if it's not worth going. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. But pretty much, here's the update. We made $12-ish, $12.50 maybe, and it's it wasn't any good, guys. I drove around Portland for a while and didn't get any orders, so... We'll see if we can get any decent orders in Beaverton. I'm hopeful, but you never know. It's just luck of the draw out here with, uh, with potential orders and whatnot. It's, you know, it's hard, guys. DoorDash is nothing but a gamble. It's all being at the right place at the right time and being in the app and, and then, you know, hopefully finding parking. That's, that's really the biggest headache is being able to find parking in these areas. Ooh, nice EV6 in front of us. All right, well, that's a, that's a little bit of an update for you. Whenever we get over to Beaverton, I will take a screenshot and make sure that you know we're all on the same page. But at this point, 
we're uh, we're just going for a little drive and headed out of Portland proper because there there wasn't anything to be done in Portland. Nice Model S there, nice Model Y. I just, you know, like I was saying in the last clip, I love that there are so many EVs around here. It, it really makes me feel like I'm with a lot of like-minded people. And, you know, I would love to meet up with any of you. If you guys are out here in the Oregon area, you know, even if you don't have an EV, if you want to meet up and chat and talk and do whatever, like, you know, hit me up. I, I need some friends. You guys already probably know, but I'm on X at Dasher Cam, 7Ms. And in case you aren't aware, the, the handle has 7Ms because... The and with your help, if you guys like and subscribe, I, I'd really appreciate it. But, you know, with your guys' help, I can make this a reality. So... You know, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. If, if I'm doing all right, if you guys think that I can do anything better, let me know. But, uh, all right, I will see you guys in Beaverton area whenever we get there. All right, friends. So I went ahead and went for a little drive, came to this park, walked around for a few minutes, waiting for 3.30 to come along. Um, and it is now 3.30. So what that means is that there is a promo for $2 in order. And we have made our way to Tool, Tula, Tula. <laughs> uh, I was saying it right in my mind earlier, guys. We made it to the, the Tiger area here. So we're going to go ahead and click Dash now. We're going to Dash until like 530. Wilsonville is also in this little hot spot. So we'll probably end up charging in Wilsonville on the way home. We're at 41%, started the day at 90%. Um, I've driven 106 miles, consumed 32 kilowatt hours, and my efficiency, my efficiency is actually not bad. 299 watt hour per mile. So, you know, could be worse, right? But, um, all right, we're just kind of sitting here chilling. It didn't look like the map was really busy, which kind of stinks, but, you know, we'll just have to take it as it comes and see if maybe we can find our way into some money. I'm really hoping that this uh, Tualatin, there we go, Tualatin. I'm really hoping that Tualatin is going to be, you know, decent for me tonight. So at least we've got some, some peak pay. And we'll just go ahead and, you know, start off the dash. Um, the car is absolutely so dirty, by the way. And I'm supposed to take it to Tesla tomorrow and drop it off. Because um, my trunk is broke. I'm sure that if you guys have seen any of my other videos, if I've gotten them up in the right order, you, you might have already seen the trunk video. Who knows? But my trunk's broke. It won't open. It's broke, and I brought it into service, and whenever I brought it in, I said, hey, you know, I think that it might be like the strut or whatever that pops it open because it looked like it was a little deflated. I was able to, like, hop in through the seats and pop it open that way, but, you know, that's, that's no fun. Nobody wants to be doing all that. So I, I dropped it off there and had a loaner for the day. And then they said, hey, you know, unfortunately, we're going to have to order this part. It's like a bus, like some type of a power relay of some sort, right? And it's for the trunk area. But, you know, it's not going to be here for at least a week or so. Well, that week or so has come, and now it is time for me to go drop off the car. So, anyways, what I'm alluding to is I need to clean the car before I drop it off. Even though it is, like, wet and nasty out here, like, I should probably still clean the car because I noticed that it seemed that somebody rubbed up on it once or twice. <laughs> and, you know, I know that I'm probably being whatever, but... All that dirt and shit on the car, it will totally scratch it. So we do not want that to happen. 
So I really need to clean it off. And whenever I got it back from them a couple days ago, I don't know, it's probably been about a week now. The next day I like pressure washed it off and put some foaming soap on it. You guys probably seen my little car wash video that I tried to do. My, my foamer isn't super foamy, but I think that maybe I should probably use like more car soap and whatever. So anywho, um, I did that and the stuff didn't really come off. The stuff wants to be like wiped off with a cloth. So maybe I'll do that whenever we get home. I'm really just trying to make some, some money out here though, guys. I made $12 and 50 cents in Portland. I mean, like, sure. It was like one o'clock, but it's Portland, Oregon. You would think that it would be busy. Like Orlando would be busy. I assume I haven't actually dashed in. You're right, guys. I haven't actually dashed in Orlando. I'm, I'm improperly comparing the two, but I can almost guarantee you that Orlando would be busy because ain't nobody wanting to go outside and walk in the, in the heat, guys. Nobody's going to be walking in the heat out in Orlando. I do not know what is going on. I ain't getting no orders, y'all. <laughs> this sucks. Really trying hard to be positive, keep a good attitude, because we're going to make some money today. Not before the sun goes down, though. That's for damn sure. I've noticed that it's... So... One of my tips for dashing is that you need to know your area, right? And you don't you don't get to know your area until you go and dash in said area, right? Now, you might have like a an idea of an area, which is good because you probably want to know where to park and stuff. But anyways, I'm realizing that knowing my areas there isn't any money to be made during lunchtime. And and I've been dashing for a long time time now. I've been dashing since I got here, right? Like I've, I've been trying my hardest to make some money, make some extra money while I'm out here and dashing is the way that I'm doing that. Now, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I don't get to go dash. I've got other obligations that I'm, you know, working on doing stuff, whatever. But you know, these other days, I do try really hard to maintain a good dash presence, usually give or take four hours a day. Now, today was special because I came up for the Tesla Owner Oregon, Tesla Owners Oregon event to see the Cybertruck because Tesla in uh, McAdam got a Cybertruck on display. So that was really cool. You know, I appreciate the guys at Tesla Owners Oregon. If you're in Oregon and you're a Tesla owner, you should really join their group. It's like $30 a year. And, you know, you I don't know, just join the group, man. Support support the cause, dog. $30. Come and hang out. Like, see me. You know, not that I'm anything to see. But, you know, come say, hey, what's up, dude? Um you know, Phil and the boys, they, I'm sure they would appreciate it. And, you know, honestly, like there aren't that many younger folk in the, uh, in the Tesla group. We need, we need some more young folk in there, guys. They do some cool stuff like driving around, doing, uh, meetups at like random little places. It's just like going and exploring Oregon. Maybe they'll have like a lunch or something. I don't know. I heard somebody was talking about going to this like bread making spot where they have coffee. I don't remember what it was called. I don't think that they told me, but it should be on their, on their website. I think it's teslaownersoregon.com. I will put that over the screen if I am incorrect, but just Google it. Tesla owners, Oregon. If you're anywhere nearby, like if you're near in Vancouver or wherever, like just come, come hang out, dude. Come be jolly and say what's up, you know, geek out, nerd out over some Tesla stuff. Okay, guys, we've been driving for a good five minutes and I'm just talking my ass off because I, I don't know what, I, I ain't got no DoorDash content for you. It's just not happening. We're in a, a hot zone. You know, we're headed toward this little flame over here in Durham. Like it's $2 peak pay y'all. All right. So one of my thoughts on how to DoorDash is, you know, we're just going to go this way. 
we're gonna go. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I'm just driving around. But one of my thoughts is if earn my order isn't popping off for you after maybe five or 10 minutes, Cam, probably right about now, if earn my order isn't popping off, then switch to earn by time because maybe it's just one of those times where you need to be on earn by time. And, you know, it always seems that the screen, screen cam goes out before the other cam. All right, so we're gonna pop into earn by time here. It says it's 1975 per active hour, whatever that means. Um, what it means is only whenever you're in an order. So me just driving around like this, I don't get paid for that, guys. It's better usually to just drive around on earn by order and hope and pray that somebody leaves a nice, hey, look at that. See, guys, I, I tried told you guys, tried told you they wanted me to do something different. A flower pickup. God. Last time that I did one of these flower pickups, y'all, they didn't tip me. I went to, I was in Salem and I drove to Safeway and I had three drop-offs. I cannot tell where this road goes. I had three drop-offs and lo and behold, I get there and it's a flower pickup. I'm like, all right, no, whatever. No, no worries. Um, I need to get over. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's a little nerve wracking in a new place whenever you're driving around and you're not really used to it. But anyways, dropped off at all three places. It took me like a good hour to do it all. None of them tipped. None of them. None of them tipped. Now, maybe they ordered through the Safeway app, right? And maybe they didn't know, oh, it's a DoorDash guy that's coming to drop it off for me, right? They probably thought I was getting paid $25 an hour to come and drop off that flower. But they, they could have left at least like a little tip at the door or something. Could have left something. I went out to like Almsville to drop these off. I have a screenshot of, Cam, you better find the screenshot and put this shit up because, okay, come on over, Mr. Model Y, buddy. Whatever you get. Okay, you got this, son. Good, good job, buddy. Good job. You made it. Well played. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch topics here. I really wish that the three came with the plastic rocker that the Y comes with, because, you know, I th is that an R1S right there? Hey, R1S dog, what's good? Damn, looking good and white. I saw a white one earlier. Mud, all caught. Oh man, it looks so good. It looked like it was tearing it up out there. It looks so good. Girly was driving it. Oh man. Girly's husband made good choice, dog. Girly's husband. Or girly, you know, who knows, dog? Who knows? But the other day, I was in Eugene, and I had a Safeway pickup, I think. Either Safeway or Albertsons. I think it was Safeway. And this lady in this Mercedes comes by IX right here. Eyes seven something? There's totally something right there, guys. Whatever that BMW is. I eight, maybe? No, not the I eight. Anyways, this lady comes by. Like, I'm turning in here. If I was stopped at where it says stop right here, this lady comes and uh, the orientation's different. I'm coming in from that side essentially. But this lady comes in and just. <laughs> right of uh, right around me and there was these like late there this lady and her daughter like it, it was like i was like man so i got around to her and you know i, I went around the parking lot found found a parking space and then she ended up parking next to me like she didn't get any further because she got caught up at one of the you know at, at one waiting for somebody to back out so she was, you know, she, go ahead, go ahead. Am I, am I going the wrong way here? No, I'm not going the wrong way. We're fine. Uh, anyways, she was jealous of the three guys. She was like, man, 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 you're a little Tesla. Man, man, man. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So you're just, you're just upset that you bought a Mercedes and that you didn't buy a Tesla. I got you. I see now this all makes sense. It all makes sense, guys. 
I'd be pissy if I bought a Mercedes too. All right, that's enough of me talking. I told you switching over to earn my time was gonna be good. So we're here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. I'm not confident that there's a tip, y'all. I am not confident that there's a tip. But pick up by 348. I got enough time to go to the bathroom in there, wash my hands, you know, take a quick breath for a minute. So we good. Gonna go ahead and arrived at the store. Order still being prepared. You guys always gotta throw out that order still being prepared so that you don't get dinged for it. All right, I'll be back in just a few minutes. We got the flower order picked up from Albertsons. Pretty nice little arrangement of flower. Got it here in the back seat, chilling. And while we were walking into Albertsons, we got another order to go over to Panera. I don't even know how many miles, whatever. It doesn't matter because we're on earn by time and nothing matters on earn by time. So we're gonna go over to Panera and pick that up. Says it will be there in about six minutes. So, you know, Panera is usually a place that I feel like people tip. Um, so fingers crossed, you know, we can get a few extra dollars here. Hope and pray for me, guys, because as you saw, we were chilling in Earn by Order for a long time. I was waiting for it to just pop up, but it never did. So I wonder... And this is just me completely speculating here, but I wonder if maybe DoorDash recognizes that I'm at a 72% acceptance rate. And I wonder if they think, man, I'm gonna hold back some of these offers because Cam's probably gonna decline it. Probably not. It's probably just that there were no offers to be had, but it makes me wonder because almost immediately after we got into Earn by Time, picked one up. Now, again, I, I've done these flower deliveries before, at least from Safeway, and if I'm, I'm not mistaken, Albertsons is owned by somebody. I don't remember who, Safeway, Kroger, somebody can put it up on the screen, please. Don't forget, put it up on the screen, whoever Albertson's owned by. And, you know, I, I wonder if they just have the same kind of a thing where tipping is not in their app. Um, you know, if so, I think that that's kind of crappy, you know? Like, this is a nice little flower assortment. It's probably easily 40 or $50 worth of flour that I'm dropping off over here, right? Now, is that really a lot in the grand scheme of things whenever I'm usually dropping off food that is, you know, maybe 20 or $30? No. But it just kind of goes to the whole premise that somebody is in their car using their time to drive something for you somewhere. And as you guys have noticed, I guess that maybe my screen cam is just a little messed up. Sorry. But... As you guys have noticed, um, you know, there are times whenever I'll drive around and you just don't get any orders, you know, and, and I don't think that people factor that in. Like, man, this guy is probably just getting order after order after order. And sometimes, yes, it is like that. But lately, it has been less and less like that. It really kind of stinks because it takes the fun out of it. Um, I'm at almost 4,000 deliveries, guys. Like, I have done my fair share of deliveries. I don't know how many hours I've put into this, but I've definitely put in a good couple thousand hours into dashing. And, you know, I respect people that are out here dashing. Now, there are always areas of opportunity and areas of improvement. Nice Model X right there. Hell yeah, brother. Um... I'm not a perfect dasher. Like last night, I messed up on the Papa John's order. End up getting the guy like five things whenever he only ordered two. Like he was like, yeah, man, I'm going to be eating for the next week. Like sweet, bro. Good. Like that. That's awesome. Dang. Model Y with the red. Oh, dude. <laughs> so, okay. Those red wheel covers right there. Totally, completely different story. But those red wheel covers looked like the evam 
wheel co covers, E-V-A-M-M, -M, and they had sent me an email. We had gone back a time or two, back and forth, between one of their marketing folks, allegedly, and myself talking about, you know, potentially, try oh, look at this Volta, guys, holy shit. This is awesome. I got to get a picture of these Voltas right here. Sorry, guys. I am like spacing out today. My bad, yo. But those wheel covers look like some of the wheel covers that Evam sells. I'll try and throw up a screenshot here. Um, and we went back and forth for months. They reached out about a July uh, product placement thing in one of my videos for me to do a review of them. We went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And they just stopped replying to me. Like, Evam, if you're listening, what the fuck? <sighs> Maybe they saw that I cussed some of my videos. Who knows? Anyways, we're at Panera. I'm going to go in here and pick up this order. Cool Volta chargers here in Tualatin, Oregon. Charging up a BR4X, B BZ4X. Um, all right, very cool. Doing Doing stuff and things. So is it just a level two charger? Is it just J1772 guys? It is. All right. So it's just a J1. That is a huge UI for J1772. Jeez. All right. Anyways, they've got two of them over there. Um, that Mercedes GLA is parked there. I don't know if they know that that is an electric vehicle spot. All right, we're picking up from Panera. All right, guys, we just dropped off three orders. I think that I got an extra order between the time that I spoke with you last and now. So just to go over everything, we got that first order, which was the flower pickup for Albertsons. And whenever I was in Albertsons, maybe I didn't even tell you this, I'm, I'm not sure, I can't remember. But whenever I was in Albertsons, I got a pickup for Panera, and I think that I saw you guys whenever I was leaving Albertsons and head to, heading to Panera. Um, from there, though, whenever I dropped off the Panera order, or before I dropped off the Panera order, I got an order to go to Subway. So I'm on a triple stack order while delivering these flowers. And um, I got the screenshot of it, but it took a little bit over, uh, uh, right around an hour. I don't know. I think that I started earned by time at around like 3.40 or so. And it's now like right around 4.40, right? So it took about an hour, $23 and change in the app. And the flower, as I expected, had no tip on the app, but I got $5 cash, guys. So thank you so much to those folks that gave me a uh, tip. I, I got a tip on every one of those orders and I got earned by time. So, you know, I'm just raking DoorDash over the coals, guys. I'm doing it to them. Anyways, um, yeah, it's going, it's going all right. We're doing okay. Earn by time, you know, earn by time giveth and earn by time taketh away. I tell you what, uh, it's, it's a hard game to play. Like it all just depends. Everything is a gamble. You never know what you're going to get in this game. So anyways, I'm thankful that tonight I got, you know, $2 tips. Alex, okay, no big deal, whatever. I'm out here doing earn my time. $2 tip is awesome. Awesome tip doing earn my time for what I was doing, right? I mean, their orders were late. Like, well, at least one of them was like 10 minutes late. So whatever, I didn't get a contract violation at least yet. Let, actually, let's, let's go ahead and check that real quick. Uh, by the way, I got another order. I don't think I talked to you guys about it yet. We're going to Little Caesars. And it looks like it's in this little plaza here. I'm going to go down. I think that I was just in this plaza picking up at Subway. So we're going to just double check that I don't have contract violation. Nope, nothing, guys. Customer rating 4.88 still. Click into it. Cool. Yep. Looking good. Acceptance rate 73%. Completion 97. And on timer early is 96. I'm pretty sure that that's what it was previously. 3,833 lifetime deliveries. 
And life is good, guys. One of my favorite things about Earn By Time is that your acceptance rate goes up while you're doing Earn By Time. So it's really, really a nice thing to do if you're either at the end of the month like Top Dasher or in my case, um, with the Platinum Rewards, I think that my Platinum Rewards start over on Monday. So uh, today is Sunday. You know, all I have to do is maintain 100 deliveries, uh, acceptance rate above 70%, customer rating above 4.7, I think. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it. I, I might be missing something. I'm uh, completion rate of 95%. That's right. So I'm going to easily get that because I have well over 150 deliveries for the last 100 days, uh, which is kind of nice. You know, just, just get out there and do it guys. Three, four hours at a time, set a goal. I'm going to go out for three hours. Boom. All right, cool. Who cares what you make? I mean, it matters, but like if it's at the end of the month or whatever, just throw on earn by time, make sure that you're able to get the acceptance rate up and you might even get more offers provided to you on earn by time than you would have, uh, you know, on earn by offer. So, all right, that is enough of that. We are at Little Caesars. I'm going to hop off here and I will catch you guys in a future clip. We finally got that Little Caesars order picked up. Um, one of the orders is like 14 items, like three pizzas, chicken wings, breadsticks, all the, all the fixings, all the stuff, guys, all the stuff. And it's going right here to this like Best Western or whatever little, little rinky dink hotel. Yeah. Best Western. So, um, I'm, I'm hoping that there is a tip but because it is so close to the pickup location, I'm not sure that there's going to be a tip on this, guys. I, I don't know. All right, you turn permitted. Good. <laughs> and you guys probably just saw that flash. Um, yeah, they got, they got some cameras up here. The map, sorry, I don't have this camera on, but the map is supposed to be telling us where cameras are and such. It doesn't seem to be doing it just yet. Maybe that's going to be coming in a future update. Sorry, I need to change the batteries on the cameras. I know it's getting a little bit late. I apologize. Um, I'll see if I can do some color correction on this. That's the thing, guys. I'm trying to like incrementally learn how to make these videos better as I go. Um, recently, I got into the multi-clip on Final Cut. And, you know, my friends had been told, been telling me about that. And I just finally took the plunge and jumped into it one day. And now, oh man, you guys are in for it. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Like I feel more confident about making videos now. Um, I just had to, I just had to do it the manual way for some time, you know, really get comfortable with what I was doing and kind of learn my craft. You guys, you guys know what I mean? So now we've got multiple camera angles and I'm, I'm trying it out guys i'm trying to make it a real thing I'm trying to make this a feature length film for y'all every time we'll see how it goes you know to those of you that have been viewing the channel i appreciate it uh you know what we're just gonna park this since that guy is there we're just gonna park this and see all right, so I always want to kind of look out for where I'm parking and see if maybe there are any like bushes nearby and stuff because I don't know why, but people are always want to put bushes places. Like guys, I need to get in and out of the car. All right, um, it probably won't show me what the total is. I don't think I told you. I'm picking up and dropping off for two places at this little Caesars pickup. So I'm going to go drop this off. And I think that I'll pick back up with you after I drop the other one off as well. All right, guys. Wow. I cannot believe it. All right. So the way that the tips show whenever you're doing earn my time, if you've got a stacked order, and I mean, I could be wrong about this, but I'm 99% sure that I'm right. So whenever you have a stacked order, the first order's tip is the top tip that you see. And the second order's tip is the bottom tip that you see. So you guys remember, I was concerned about that last order because it was going to that rinky dink hotel over there. 
Shame on me for being concerned about that. Those people were so nice, gave me like $9, guys. $8.81 or something for the tip. And then this, this person here gave me a $3 tip, y'all. So that was a $24 order, guys. Oh my God, with the peak pay and the, the big tip. And like, wow, dude, earn by time really coming through for a homie right here. So we're at something ridiculous, like, $47 or some craziness. And I just got a pickup to Chipotle somewhere over here in Lake Oswego. And it says that a catering bag is required. <laughs> oh boy. You know what they say about money? Money don't make you happy. I think that's bullshit. I think the money makes people very happy. I love me some money. That's why I'm out here, you know? That's exactly, that's the whole reason for the season. So I appreciate you guys watching me grind it out, do my hustle, you know, out here trying to make a difference, deliver these people's food. They're hungry, Cam. Somebody need to deliver it to them, and it's me. I'm a deliver it, dog. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Really appreciate it. Um, you know, it, it makes it fun for me to make these videos, you know, I, I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing this to learn a new skill. I'm out here learning how to video edit, learning, you know, how to be a better public speaker, how to just talk in front of a camera, whatever it might be. Just somebody, I, I, you know, to, to be somebody different than who I was two years ago, right? So that's the whole goal here. You know, I, I don't know if I'm going to make it on the YouTube, if I'm being completely honest, guys. I got a long way to go. And, you know, if you're out there supporting me, I can't thank you enough. I really, really appreciate the love. You know, I'm out here trying to make a hustle for it. So, you guys see me. This this is the adventure, guys. We're going on Dash Ventures together. Zero emissions in the Model 3 performance. And uh, I cannot tell you how much I love this car. If you're a Tesla hater, I understand. Too cool, whatever. You know, Elon is who Elon is. Oh, you know, I can't let Elon... And my car, blah, 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 whatever, dog. It, you know what? That's cool and all, but you are just missing out on the driver experience of a lifetime. The UI on this Tesla is absolutely phenomenal. Um, autopilot is great. You know, it, you know, it has some things to be desired. And there were some updates recently that I didn't necessarily care for, but autopilot's awesome. You know, at the end of the day, it, it's amazing. The car just drives so good. Now that that is partly because I have those Martian wheels. You guys already know, got them 18 inch MWO3s and they are just so good, dude. Like they make the car feel so light and nimble. I mean, this is like a 45, 4,800 pound car or something. I don't remember how, how heavy it is, but it's a big, heavy car. And I can just, throw this thing wherever I want to. And as long as my tires are good, I know that I was talking about this in, a, in my episode last night, um, but it's worth mentioning again, just how important tires are whenever you have a car like this and you're, you know, you're able to go as fast as you are. You want to make sure that you're able to stay on the pavement and not roll off, you know, especially here in Oregon where it's like wet all the time. The Tesla does a great job at maintaining and you know staying on the road but it's not perfect right you have to have the right equipment depending on the circumstances that you're driving in so needless to say it doesn't matter if you're in a tesla or a prius or you know out there dashing in a ram at 1500 dude i've seen it i have seen it ram 1500 whatever the ram truck is i'm pretty sure it's 1500 and i've seen old boy dashing in an old silverado 1500 like it doesn't matter what you're dashing in you guys need to make sure that your tires are up to spec and are not balding it's, you know you don't want to get hurt out here you don't want to blow a tire and break your car more so than you would have if you would have just gotten new tires in the first place you know spend the extra money I don't, you know, I'm not no, I, I'm no tax, tax expert. Sorry. I'm no tax expert, but from what I understand, you can either write off the miles or you can write off X, Y, and Z that you purchased 
going toward the business. So, you know, put piece that into your calculations whenever you guys are doing all this stuff. All of this is potentially tax deductible. You know, you just have to get it done the right way. I would recommend seeing a tax professional. I'm damn sure no tax professional, but you know, keep your receipts, do all the things that you need to do to make as much money as possible and not have to pay your taxes because, you know, a lot of the time we technically operate at a loss. Um, so anyways, just my, my two cents. So, all right, we're headed over to Chipotle. I've, I've had enough of a rant here and, uh, I'll catch you guys. Maybe one of we drop off this Chipotle order and let you know how big it is. Like, I am so excited about this. I can't wait to see what the end result is. So I'll catch you at that clip. All right, y'all. Uh, that is about a wrap for that little bit of a dash venture. We got $59 something or another for two hours and 10 minutes, give or take right around there. And that last one with the catering order didn't tip guys. They didn't tip at all. They asked me if I had a catering bag and they totally didn't tip. Uh, whatever. No big deal. I made like $11 or something doing that, but like, damn man, that like, that should have been the cash cow order right there, guys. Damn, that sucks. Um, all right. So now I've got a dilemma. Do I go to Portland downtown and hope and pray that people are going to be nice to me? Because Lord knows I ain't going to be able to find no parking. I don't like this. I've been here before. You know, I was here before and they didn't tip me. This is the second time that I've dropped off to Lewis and Clark College. And you guys didn't tip me, guys. It hurts. It hurts. Uh, but look at this map for me real quick. I took a screenshot of it. I'm going to take another screenshot. I'm in the middle of nowhere y'all i'm in the middle of nowhere in the map um but it says that there's three dollars per order on earn by time in southeast portland but it's not very busy but it's very busy in downtown portland for three dollars plus an order so i don't know where i should go um, we'll see if this dash continues on or not. Uh, it's, it's kind of one of those hard things to, to determine because it's like, man, do I really want to go back down to downtown and try and dash around there and see if there are any decent orders? So I've made like $70 for the day. I really need to make at least a hundred, if not like 150. So and it's 5.55 p.m. It takes me about an hour to get home, so I need to be I need to be done dashing by like 10 to get home by 11. And I probably need to eat between now and then. So just a whole bunch of things to think about. Uh, do I go back to downtown? Damn, I mean, it looks like it's busy there right now, so I kind of want to. I don't know, guys. We'll we'll see in the next clip, but I can't believe they didn't tip me after it asking me if I had a catering bag. I mean, I you know I did get some pretty good, some awesome tips and stuff from the other folks. So thank you guys so much to those of you that did tip. I mean, it really really made a difference. So uh, my my takeaway from this little experience, and you know it, it's. It is what it is, right? But my takeaway is it doesn't matter if it asks you whether or not you have a catering bag. The tip is not guaranteed. Take me to downtown Portland. All right. So, wow. Wow. It says that we're going to be to downtown in 10 minutes. So we're headed to downtown. Sweet. I'm uh, looking forward to it. And, you know, I haven't quite decided. Are, are we going to do earn my time? Let me see what my acceptance rate is. 73% acceptance rate. Uh, 4.88 still. 
3,839 deliveries. Nice older Model S that we just passed there. So, um, all right, I'll let you guys know whenever we get into Portland whether or not we're going to do Earn My Time. I, it might just behoove us to do Earn My Time. Take this, take this $3 plus and, and order uh, and turn that into Earn My Time. That is probably... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Is it done? What time's the promo? The promo's from now until 7.30. It's 6 o'clock, so... And then there's another $3 promo from 7.30 to 9. So I think that... Whoa, dude, it's $4. Or, oh, this is earned by time. So it'd be $2 plus. Yeah. All right, we're going to downtown, and we're going to do Earn by Time, I think, and just check it out and see if it's worth doing. So stick around, and I'll catch you either in a future episode or in the next clip. We'll see what happens. All right, y'all. So we have gone ahead and made a couple of decisions since I chatted with you guys last. I was on Earn by Time for like 10 minutes, and nothing happened at all. Nothing. So we're downtown Portland and it says that it's busy. So I went ahead and switched over to earn by offer or earn per order, excuse me. And right whenever I switched over, I, I think that DoorDash wants you to be di like, to be able to be flexible. I wish that they would send you a message that says, hey, it looks like earn by XYZ is gonna be better for right now. Do you wanna switch? Um, because otherwise you're just sitting there waiting for for an order to come in. So anyway, switched over to earn my time, or excuse me, earn my order from earn my time. And I got this nine dollar plus order to Shake Shack, which this Shake Shack is like one of the craziest looking. I don't understand. It's like right in the middle of Portland. I have a, a little video that I'll I'll play here. All right, y'all, we are in downtown Portland, about to pick up from what I believe is like one of the nicest Shake Shacks I have ever seen. You can see it over yonder across the street there, but it is just huge. Look at this footprint. Like, it's crazy. It's just this Shake Shack on this corner. This must pull in like millions of dollars a year. I don't know, craziness. But anyways, that's where we're going. I had to park down the street down there because there wasn't any other parking. And, you know, let's hope and pray the old parking meter maid doesn't come by and give you a ticket because Lord knows I get a ticket for not having my front plate on too. So, all right, we're about to go into this Shake Shack, pick it up, see what we can do. It's right in the middle of Portland, a single story building. And it, it seems like it's like prime location. And it's just this Shake Shack in like this nice courtyard area. Um, so anyways, got that picked up, took a little while and dropped it off. Dude, the guy was literally, I mean like it's no, it, I could have walked there probably faster than driven there, honestly. Um, I'm glad that I drove because getting back would have been annoying. Hey, I don't know what that was. I want to say that it was the Subaru Solterra or maybe a new RAV4, I don't know, but Anyway, sorry. Uh, so got there, dropped it off. It ended up being a $12 order, guys. So that was huge. Thank you so much. Um, it is $3 peak pay right now. So we're enjoying that $3 peak pay. And we're not going to get hit by this bus or this person that swooped in behind me. But we are going to pick up at another spot here. We're about to turn left onto... Oh, shit. Just got... Just got another order to Chipotle. So we're gonna turn left here. Oh shit, it says no left turn. Sorry, officer, don't pull me over. Um, so, okay, I guess I gotta get in there. Uh, all right, looks like you're just hanging out there. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so we weren't supposed to make that left turn. Don't tell anybody that we made that left turn. I don't need the authorities to come and get me, y'all. So don't don't let them know we made that left turn. Uh, where do I want to park this thing? I want to park it next to this Model Y, I think. 
So, uh, all right, we're going and picking up, and it just said that we got another order to Chipotle as well. So we're on a stack, guys. We are making some money down here in Portland. Seems like it's going to be all right. You know, fingers crossed we'll be able to make this money appear pretty quick. And I'll catch up with you guys whenever I get these orders dropped off. All right, y'all. This place is called Next Level Clucker. It says that it's open. We'll, we'll get in here and see what we got. All right, friends. We got both of those orders dropped off. And they were both exactly what they showed. Ten fifty and $8.00. So that brings our total to thirty dollars and fifty cents. Um, you know, we're we're doing pretty good here. We're just north of the dashing area in downtown Portland, so we're headed south, back down toward Portland area, and we're about to pick up. You know, hopefully one or two more orders here in the next hour or so, and. You know, fingers crossed, that'll bring us up to about $50, and that, that'll be good for the night. I'm, I'm hoping to round this out at about 8 p.m., and we're at 24% state of charge. We've been driving all day, it feels like. We've gone 143 miles, 43 kilowatt hours burned, 301 watt hour per mile. We've been staying pretty consistent with our efficiency all day. Uh, but we're at 24% state of charge, and whenever it starts dipping below 20% state of charge, it wants to turn off sentry mode. And I don't know that I really want the car to be chilling in Portland off of sentry mode. So like I said, we're going to do one, maybe two more orders here um, and see you know, if we can make any more money. We're at a little bit over $100 for the day. All right, cool. And we just got... Another offer, $12.50 for 4.5 miles. And I am not in the correct lane to turn left there. So maybe we can turn here and do a quick little U-turn. Ooh, damn, this is tight. Oh, uh, boy. It, it's a little nerve-wracking driving in these city streets and trying to find parking and stuff. It, it's not easy, y'all. Not sure why homie stopped. Uh, didn't look like we had a stop sign. I guess I guess maybe it's a yield type situation. I don't fucking know, man. That's one thing about Oregon is that it's like, yeah, dude, fucking do it at your own risk, man, because there ain't no stop sign, no yield sign, no nothing. Just you know how to drive, right? Go ahead and figure, figure it out your damn self. So, oh shit, this looks like, oh no. Okay, so it looks like everybody's parked that way, right? But here's a stop sign, so I guess that I'm not going the wrong way. It's just weird, guys, really, really weird. I mean, like, I understand it's city living and all that jazz, but it is, I don't know, it's weird, yo. I, I do not necessarily enjoy driving up here. I'm really enjoying the drive aspect of this, just kind of chilling in the city and driving around. It's kind of fun, honestly. Like this, it's a, it's a cool area sometimes, kind of. Like, I don't know, it, I like a challenge and dashing in a new area is always a challenge. Dashing even in an area that I'm somewhat familiar with but I'm not entirely comfortable. I mean, this is like, you know, probably level three to level four dashing here. If Corvallis and Albany are level one, level two, this is definitely level three, level four. And I haven't gotten the muster up enough to go and dash in Seattle. Um, if I do that, that's going to be a real thing. That's a, that's an undertaking there. So um, I don't remember where we're going. We're going somewhere, pick up maybe pizza, Atlas pizza. So we're just about to pull up. I'm going to see if I can find a good parking spot. Maybe right here. Maybe we'll, we'll park it right here. See what we can do. Oh gosh. I don't know guys. This is, this is a little tight. Oh, Nope, nope, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do this. Ain't gonna work. 
Uh, what about right here? This looks nice. Parking, what, two hour parking? Okay, I can get behind some two hour parking. This is fine. And not scratch my rims. Don't scratch the rims. All right, cool, we're looking good. So, okay, we're picking up from Atlas Pizza. I will check back in with you whenever I am at the drop off and let you know how it went. Well, friends, it looks like I actually didn't end up filming the end of the episode for you. So I'll let you know what ended up happening with that Atlas Pizza order. It was a $12.50 total, just like it showed from the beginning. And that rounded us out for a total of $43. We went ahead and ended the dash there, called it good because that was some serious money in a little less than an hour and a half. So really, really enjoyed that part of the dash. Um, overall, 4.88 still, 73% acceptance rate, that didn't change at all, 3,843 lifetime deliveries. And putting it all together, it looks like we made a grand total of $115. Not entirely sure the time frames here. I didn't really do that math for you, but it it was pretty decent overall for my adventure up to Portland. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and check in at the Wilsonville Supercharger, and I'll say goodbye to you guys. Thanks again for tuning in. All right, y'all. We've been preconditioning for a good 20 plus minutes, and we've pulled into the Wilsonville Supercharger in Wilsonville, Oregon. It is the version 4 supercharger. If you guys haven't seen my video on it, go ahead and check it out. It is on YouTube, and it looks like we're peaking at about 253 kilowatts. I've pulled 260 kilowatts here before, so, you know, I guess that the car is a little bit cold or something, but there we are maintaining a consistent 252, 253 kilowatts. And everything is good guys it has been a nice day i went up and saw the cyber truck earlier you guys can see some of my posts on that uh, there's now a cyber truck in portland oregon so pretty cool and i went and dashed around portland oregon for a little while made a little bit of money and it's been a good day so thanks for checking out my video